But what was my dad the not consequences doing that made you want to look elsewhere? I don't know, because he was such a great husband and such a great dad, and I think that I fell into a situation where I thought that the grass was greener somewhere else. And I made a huge mistake. I'm, that's like my life's biggest regret. Well, Chloe apparently called Chris out for cheating and she asked her mama, what were you thinking when you decided to cheat? Um, but let's go ahead and talk about it, you guys. It's Mary. And Amma. And we even have to like, subscribe. And comment down below, you all, because, you know, I guess Chloe was talking about how she has had horrible relationships with men and how they only realize that she's great until they've shown her how horrible they have been to her or whatever the case may be. And she's like, why can't they just see me as great? And then she asked her mom her opinion mm -hmm. um, as a former cheater. Um, so why did you cheat? Like, what was he, my dad not doing that made you want to cheat? And she said, you know, um, I don't even know because the thing is he was a great husband, he was a great father. I just thought the grass would be greener on the other side. Which I feel like a cheating is a very, it's a selfish act. It might not make sense, but I feel like it usually comes from somebody who was lacking like some type of self-worth or something. Mm -hmm. um, but to call your mama out. And then she, then Chris was like, who are you talking to me? And she's like, who the F else will I be talking to? Mm -hmm. I thought it was good. And they're kind of really disrespectful to her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I just felt like that was, a, I mean, I don't know, because at first I was like, well, is that staged? But then mom was like, well, you know, they both got the dark shades on, so maybe they knew they would have to well, get their acting mom on. mom has a dark shade on, so she probably knew the question was coming, and she just, there's no way to prepare yourself for a question like that if you've cheated before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and you don't want anyone to see your eyes, I guess, so... And then also she tried to move the conversation along. Like she didn't really want to stay on that topic at all or whatever the case may be. I don't you know? think she really, I mean, it happened so long ago and I just feel like as though, what, what did her cheating have to do with Chloe? I think the mom just wants her to find somebody. But like Chloe said, she is okay and happy. Which I'm sorry. With her children and just, you know, um, not having to worry about someone cheating on her. The problem I have with the statement is just that I feel like Chloe will like to have someone, but I feel like she is afraid to put herself out there because so far you have had horrible men, all these men that cheat. So now you have to ask yourself what's going on with your vibration your vibrational self, that aura that surrounds us. Right. That you are drawing these kinds of men to you. And until you really heal something in you, you'll continue to kind of pull them in. And then also there's something going on, like you should be able to see through a man's BS. I mean, Tristan, the first time I saw him, because he was, he used to, um, and I think he's back again, but he used to play for the Cavaliers yeah. Um, in the NBA. Like, he just seems to me to be one of those players. Yeah. And how you can't see that, I don't know. Lamar always seemed to me to be kind of weak. Yeah. Like, easily manipulated. Right. He always seemed to be kind of high to me. Even though he was an athlete. You know? Um, so I just feel like Chloe, when you go to find these men, I don't even know where, like you're going to these basketball games. Think about this. Well, Kim's basketball also like players or any athlete, they're going to be surrounded by women. That doesn't mean that they need to be out here cheating. That's not what it means. But it just means that most of them probably have a lot of access you know so you gotta also figure out where you need to go to find these men yeah you know and then the other thing with an athlete if you're gonna go for an athlete because i watch a lot of sports you need to go for a man who is at the top of his game yeah because if his team is losing if he's on one of those losing teams um he probably is not going to be a very happy camper. No. He's going to just kind of use you for your intimacy, but it's not for anything else. 
and you're looking, you're at that age where you're looking for stability, and you're looking for someone who's going to, you know, step into the shoes of a dad. Right. Right? I mean, yes, the kids have a dad, but if the person's going to be with you, you're going to be with your children. Right. You know, so you gotta, you, you got to go search, do a better search than what you're doing. Maybe go to like a matchmaking group. Well, also my thing is that comes from you being authentic to yourself. You need to go get some therapy. You need to get some healing. You need to stop making fun of Chris Courtney for getting therapy done and doing like oh, self-evaluation. So they and sure also, did. You also have to change who you hang around. Kim is not in a good place by no, any not. means necessary. She's no, not. Don't take advice from Kim. And don't be hanging out with Kim. Like you latching yourself on friend. and making her your best friend and your buddy. You need to be talking to Courtney, yeah. not Kim. So I feel like that is the issue with them. Yeah. And I don't feel like Kim, Chloe is really happy. To but yeah, Chloe definitely needs to get some healing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Chris, I feel like she, obviously that's one of her greatest shames for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think she will regret that until the day she dies, I'm pretty sure. But she also was like, well, you know, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, we live and learn. But my thing is also, Nothing I don't feel to be like... Ashamed of her, it's a shame to the day you die. No one should be feeling ashamed of nothing till the day they die. Like, yeah. come on. Like, life happens. People make mistakes. That doesn't mean that... You know, I had a friend of mine tell me that it's only the devil that reminds me of your shame. So that oh, you yeah, can I'm stay in that sadness and... And feel as though you're not worthy because you know you 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 did xyz then it's like oh you're not worthy of anything good happening for you that's when you get yourself into some sticky situations yeah very don't true. do that no one should be ashamed of a damn thing till the day they die yeah you learn the lessons from whatever it is that has happened or whatever it is you did or whatever it is yeah and move on yeah but yeah, nobody's so perfect, that's you know? the thing. But yeah, I don't think Chris should be ashamed or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But then I just kind of wonder, you said everything happens for a reason. But then, you know, that whole thing with Caitlyn Jenner, from mm. Bruce to Caitlyn, I mean, it just makes you wonder, you oh. know, had she stayed with Robert, would that, would she have, I mean, because I, oh, okay, would like, that have, you know, I mean, that caused her a lot of pain. But do you, in a, do you think that's her karma? I don't know. Oh, it's just, you it's mean a, for it's that? A, it's oh, a thought. Oh, I just that, had that, that thought. Like that maybe you had someone who was who who, who ended treated up, who you lied, well, who lied to you, and stuff was was not living in his authentic self. Right. Which, I mean, I, it's just a thought. I mean, my that thought said, that towards the end he kind of hated her. Oh yeah, for sure. Wrote out, wrote a book. Maybe that he's he hated on the fact that she was woman and he was not, or whatever. Or well, because so competition. Well, because Bruce was trying on her, trying on mm -hmm. Chris's clothes before, of course, because before. Became um, Caitlyn. This is Akara. Yes. It's banana flower. It's Look very good. And salt is so delicious. We've been here doing videos for the past four or five hours, so we are a little peckish. But we have two more videos left, and then we are done for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just upload these. Um, but yeah, so that's my only thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it is a problem. Maybe it's not. But I mean, hey, kids are a blessing. However they came, however, whatever relationship they came through, <laughs> we say, mashallah. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is a Mary. And Amma. Um, uh, Thank you guys to like. Subscribe. And comment down below.